Hey guys, I'm coming on here. I know you're looking at my computer screen, but it's because I'm about to show you how to get on um, to do an assignment that I'll be posting. It's not going to be IXL. It's not going to be Coach Pages. It's actually from a great website that we use often to print things off of. Um, it's called ReadWorks. And through ReadWorks, I can assign, give you a code, which I will type out and give to you, um, that you will be able to get onto this website and see whatever reading passages that I want to assign to you and when they're due. So I'm gonna show you how to do it and I will type out the few little steps what to do as well so you can have that in front of you, but I feel like seeing it also helps. So you'll turn on your computer or your tablet, you'll go into the internet, which is go to Google, um, and then you're gonna type in www. I'm going to type in www.readworks.org slash student and push enter. And then you're going to come to a screen that looks like this. It says student login or enter class code. I'm going to give you a class code. Now, when I click here, this one already pops up because it's the class code I've tried with you guys. It's a few letters. It's KDN or KDKNHZ. I will type it out and give it to you. Okay. This is specific for our classroom. So you're going to type those letters in again. I will give them to you and hit continue. And you will see here's our class, Nash Donahue. Okay, this is not the actual assignment you will have to do. I just put something simple there to show you for this video, but you will have an assignment posted here. And over on the side, it will say the due date. Now, this actual one will not be here when you log on because I had this due um, before you will even see this video, but I wanna show you. So you'll click on whatever article is here. This one is what do plants need? Okay, and this is what it's going to look like. Again, it's going to be a different article, but I want to show you the layout. So you have the ability here to scroll down. That's the passage. It's a second grade passage. That's why it's kind of short. Um, there's a tab here that says vocabulary. There's nothing you actually am going to have to do here in the vocab section, but it's going to give you words that are going to be in the text that might be tricky. Attach. Now, again, this is a second grade text, so you should know what attach means. It tells you it's a verb. It tells you what it means. OK, this might be helpful, this vocab tab to take a look at before you even read the text. OK, that way you have an idea of some tricky words. Look, it even gives you pictures of what attaching looks like, right? They're attaching the papers together with a paper clip. They attach the door with a lock. Um, and then they even use the word in some sentences to help give you a better idea. So there might be one word here. There might be a few words. Again, there's nothing you're going to need to actually do in this section, but it might be something good to reference before you read so that you have an idea of what some tricky words might mean. Okay, so you'll do that and then you'll read the text. Do, 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 do. Okay, and over here there's a tab that says questions. Here are questions related to the text. You will choose your answers. Now, I'm just going to choose a couple random ones so that you can see. Um, I'm just clicking. I'm not obviously trying. Uh, I'm just going to type something here. Type something here. You will definitely not do yours this way. Okay. And then at the very bottom, when you're done, you'll click Submit. Now, again, you can go back to this passage tab as many times as you want to reference the text, okay? Um, it's not like once you read it, it goes away. Watch, I click it, there it is again, okay? So, ooh, maybe I think the answer for one of them is in this paragraph. I wanna reread it, so I do. And then I go, my, go back to the questions and look, the stuff I typed is still there. So it kind of saves as you go, all right? but I won't have any of these answers until you click submit. So I'm gonna click submit, and then they just pop up like you 
it, I'm assuming if I didn't answer a question, it would tell me here because this says all questions answered. And then I'm gonna click submit again, make sure yes, I'm doing it. And thank you, that's it. Okay, if there were for some reason more than one assignment there for you to do, you would return to assignments. But look, there's none left for you to do because you did the only one there. That's all you have to do. It then generates to my account where I can look at your responses and give you feedback. Okay, so again, this is something that's going to be coming up. Um, and this video, again, you'll be able to watch as many times as you want. It's really simple, and I will type out for you the few simple steps, like the website you type in at the top when you first want to get on, and then that little code, and that's it. It's very self-explanatory. I have faith in you all. Um, you can do it. All right? Take care, guys. Do your best, and we'll see you later. Bye.